Absolutely. So, I request you to stay on with us. We also have Ananya Bhatnagar, our legal correspondent with us. Ananya, I would like to understand what is it that Arj Alu Arjun is now looking at since he's been booked under BNS Section 105, culpable homicide not amounting to murder. What is he in for? Well, definitely, you know, it's a, it's a serious uh, criminal offence that he has been charged off. And, uh, you know, uh, this is a culpable homicide not amounting to murder, wherein uh, this is a special statute, you know, where... Uh, whenever you commit a crime or you commit uh, incidents uh, which actually can cause death, but you don't have the intention to cause somebody's death, it's something uh, when, uh, you know, culpable homicide not amounting to murder is actually invoked, you know, the maximum punishment that uh, is extended in this particular case is, uh, you know, life. So uh, it is a very, very uh, seen as a very serious crime. And, you know, the only distinction between the murder and, uh, you know, uh, a culpable homicide not amounting to murder is that you didn't have the knowledge or you don't have the intention to do that crime is uh, the only difference between a murder and a culpable homicide not amounting to murder. So definitely it's a serious crime that he's being charged off, but definitely his legal team would be pushing for, uh, you know, any kind of relief. Uh, they might push him for uh, immediate bail for him in this particular case, citing that, you know, he had no intention or uh, no knowledge about this. And that's the reason why he should be released on bail. And it is not him who has directly caused this uh, death in this particular case is what uh, the legal team so, I'm so, supposed to... So, Ananya, uh, it is, can be given to him that immediate bail can be granted to Alu Arjun? Is well, that a you know, possibility? It's, it's, a, it's a pretty difficult task because culpable homicide not mm -hmm. amounting to murder is seen as a very serious and heinous crime. But at this point of time, how uh, well does the legal team put forth its case, whether they have, uh, you know, uh, ample amount of evidence, ample amount of uh, statements to show that, you know, this is not something that he has done very, very intentionally. And uh, there is no kind of him being mm. attached to this particular crime is something um, um, uh, that the, the, the team needs to show. And that is exactly how, uh, you know, uh, they can get him out of it. But it is a difficult, a humongous task, in fact, uh, to be honest, for the legal team to secure a bail in this particular case. Because remember that the maximum punishment in this case is uh, life imprisonment. So definitely yes. the team would be trying that minimal damage is caused to Alu Arjun. Uh, legally in this particular case. Absolutely. Ananya, requesting you to stay on with us. We also have our colleague Sakshi joining us. Sakshi, when that unfortunate incident really took place during the premiere night of Pushpa 2 and after Alu Arjun and his team learnt of the death of a woman and how her son were critically injured in that stampede, was there any reaction, any statement that came out of Alu Arjun's side? Did he respond to, to that unfortunate incident? Yes, definitely, Griha, since we are talking about what exactly transpired on the day of December 4th uh, when the first show actually premiered uh, there at uh, Sandhya Theatre. We all know the kind of fandom and the popularity superstar Alju, uh, Alu Arjun actually, uh, you know, enjoys. He, in fact, and his team and, in fact, uh, uh, the Maitri movie makers also issued a statement apologizing to the family who had to go through that. He, in fact, Alu Arjun also uh, said that he is ready to give uh, rupees 25 lakh to the victim's family, but apart from that what we also know is that he also sought some sort of a relief from Telangana court as of now we don't uh, know anything about that but the latest uh, detail and development that we have got is of him being arrested but as far as your question is concerned since you have asked if uh, you know Alu Arjun's team and if the Maitri movie makers have issued any kind of a statement that is what they have said that they have apologized to the team and Alu Arjun from his side actually offered 25 rupees uh, 25 lakh rupees to the family of the victim as well. In fact, uh, I would take this across to my colleague Ananya as well as we are learning of most sections that uh, Alu Arjun is looking at against him that have been slapped against him. This is section 1181 of the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhyata. This deals with punishment for voluntarily causing hurt or grievous hurt. Also section 35 of the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhyata which establishes joint criminal liability which means that if multiple people work together to commit a crime, each person is equally responsible for that particular crime. Ananya, Anya, if you're still there with us, uh, what does it mean now for Alu Arjun since we are learning of these, uh, 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 these sections also that are complementing the section that has already been slapped against him as far as BNS is concerned, culp culpable homicide not amounting to murder. And this time it is, uh, it is well established on how the theatre owners and Alu Arjun's team were in cahoots with not taking permission, ample police permission and then going ahead with the launch of the, the film, the premiere night. Uh, in a cramped theatre like the Sandhya Theatre? Well, definitely, you know, uh, the most uh, stringent section in this case is definitely 
section 105 the bns because it is a non bailable offense and uh, that is something that could be troublesome for a lawyer when he might have to spend some time in the police custody is something uh, that comes to fore uh, when we uh, go by the bare reading of section 105 of the bns it is a non um, bailable offense and this means that you must apply for bail in court and that is exactly why you know alu arjun will have to use all his legal uh, teams might in order to secure uh, some kind of a relief for himself so very clearly alu arjun in a lot of trouble with uh, you know 105 of bns being uh, slapped on him for the negligence that has been caused by his team for not uh you know taking that particular permission the requisite permission or the intimation to the police because remember that he is a mega star and uh you know uh, consequences might follow for him in the court of law but how much of does these sec- uh, sections would actually hold up in the court whether the court would question the police as to why these sections have been imposed because uh, negligence could have been another section that could have been uh, invoked against uh, uh, you know uh, 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 alu arjun but uh, at this particular point of time culpable homicide not amounting to murder a very serious section along with uh, you know a joint criminal intent is something that might be troublesome for alu arjun we'll have to see as to how things pan out in court and what the court says is something that would be sacrosanct and that would be the final word that would be coming in from the judge's mouth the last hour Anything can happen between the bells. But what happens during the last hour is what matters the most. The biggest market swings. A close-up look at what's driving them. And how the investors are reacting. Watch the most seasoned market mavens guide you through the most important hour of the trading day. NSE closing bell. At these times, only on CNBC TV18 and CNBCTV18.com.